Welcome to the Mark V D8 hand mortar. Okay. <laughs> I just made that up. But really it's a hand mortar. I I didn't name it hand mortar. So this is your assignment is to make a weapon. And I'm going to say a weapon. I'm going to say a complex weapon. It cannot be a sword. It cannot be a shield. It needs to be a complex weapon. You have to be able to explain it. What is it? In other words, I can't just have a couple tubes stuck together and call it my missile tube or anything like that. So it has to be a very complex device. Or at least made to look that way. Now please note that after this chapter, this will no longer be accepted as the way we model. So I'm going to click on this. Notice these are polygon primitives and they're just stacked on next to each other. Okay. In the last chapter, I showed you how to combine something. So you should have a refresher course and go back there just in case you need it. You'll be making several polygon primitives changing this shape using the edges or vertices or faces and you can also use smooth please do not use any of the other tools I didn't I don't want you to yet once you get your complex shape down I need you to rename it over here and also make sure it's edit delete by type history so there's no history on the mesh to make sure everything looks nice, you can go Window, Hypergraph Hierarchy, middle mouse button to click and drag to pan around here. Notice I have one solitary mesh in the scene, and that's it. It's named conventionally. You might also have cameras and lights. Those are fine. Leave those alone. You just have to make sure that you only have one mesh in the scene. After this chapter, we will no longer be modeling like this. There are exceptions to that rule, but um, I will go over that in future chapters. Okay, so that is your assignment. Produce me a weapon of high caliber. Enjoy.